Hey, in this video, we're talking about layout options. So if you go to the top right, you can see a few layout options. On the far right hand side, the first option here is customize layout, which basically gives you all of the information right inside of the command palette. More on that when we return. The next option here is to toggle the sidebar, which basically is this part on the far right hand side where you're seeing the session help viewer connections alongside of plot. So if I go ahead and I click on that, you'll notice that the right hand side disappears, which means that you have more information with the script view and also with your console. Now you can also toggle the main panel where basically we're toggling here, uh, just the console down below. And last but not least, we can also toggle the left hand sidebar where we're basically seeing the explorer window, the search, the source control, the run and debug option, extensions, and a test setup. So these are all real quick shortcuts. Another thing that you can do is if we go back into this customized layout option on the far right, is we can switch between stacked layout to side-by-side -side layout, where in essence we can have a script editor on the left-hand side and our console on the right. So if I create a new R file and I say one plus one, and I really quickly go ahead and do command enter, Notice that it basically takes everything on the left and moves it right to the right. Now, another option here outside of the side by side is we can do a notebook layout. Now you'll notice inside of the notebook layout, it immediately pops open the Explorer and it also focuses more on the script and uh, it hides here the uh, primary bar down below. So again, you're going to want to create here some kind of Jupyter notebook or uh, Quarto document to really benefit from uh, this sort of view. Okay, so let's go real quick and close both of those. There's one more part here also to take note of. If we go again back to where that layout preset is and we scroll down, there's a few really nice options. The first here is this Zen mode. In this mode, everything is centered. It's very common to use this mode to the point where it has a keyboard shortcut on Mac of Command KZ, and if you're on Windows, that's Control KZ. If we go ahead and click off the Command Palette, you can see fully, um, basically, the Start Panel, and then the left and the right side uh, panels being uh, disabled. So this is probably a little bit more ideal if you're looking to work more in a notebook mode or a script mode. Now let's open up the customized layouts using the command palette instead of the top right icon. So we can open command palette by using command shift P or control shift P if you're on Windows. And then what we want to do is we want to type out customize layout and then press enter and you will be entered into that same mode as before. Now, inside of this mode, right, um, we can do a few things. We can try changing here the alignment of different panels. Um, in this case, I don't really have any huge desire to do that. Um, I think the huge changes really are with respect to visibility and where you like your primary bar. So uh, I like my primary bar on the left. You can switch it over to the right just by clicking on right. So again, that primary bar has your explorer, search, source control, so on and so forth. I'm gonna switch it back over to the left by just clicking on the left option. Uh, we can also toggle here uh, visibility. So we can remove the status bar, which is all the way on the bottom. So if I click on that, notice that I have this slash through the eye and the uh, status bar disappears. Um, we can toggle here, uh, I think the panel in maybe a later version of uh, the Positron beta, that doesn't seem to want to be uh, uh, being allowed to be hidden. Um, we can toggle here the secondary bar, which has the session variables and plots information. We can toggle here the primary bar, which has here the Explorer uh, information. Um, and then we can toggle the activity bar, which actually has the icons uh, that are leading to the Explorer version control, so on and so forth. Uh, and then we can also toggle this top bar, um, where if we go and we toggle the top bar, right, what ends up happening here is we lose our 
um, new and then open icons alongside of the um, interpreter slash language switcher and then our project uh, space. So lots of really nice options uh, for just sort of, you know, modifying the user experience. Now I should emphasize here, if you click on one of these layout presets, so if I go back to, you know, just um, viewing it in a stacked form, which is the original, um, this can actually reset some of the customizations that you might do. So for instance, let's say that I don't want plots to be down below. I can take plots and I can just drag it up and I can actually insert it as a tab inside of the top portion. Similarly, I can drag any part like console over into the top portion. So again, you're not necessarily constricted to exactly having um, these windows in the places that they are. In fact, if we really quickly create yet another new file, right, I can even break out this new file and I can have sort of this split editor. And if I have like one plus one uh, and then two plus two, I can further break this out by using here the split editor option um, where you can see that the same file is being split in two ways. Um, so this allows you to very quickly compare like let's say an upper part of the code um, while simultaneously also having the lower part of the code being present. Um, again, there's a lot of really nice things in terms of what's possible. So for instance here like I can um, in this case, drop, again, just another untitled document. Um, one thing that you might want to do with this untitled document is like a from, you know, um, what is it, rocker, uh, and then our base, right? You can write a Docker file with it. it. It's really, really powerful in terms of what the layout engine is. And this is all sort of thanks to the fact that Positron is really built on top of VS Code in terms of many of these layout options. So why don't you uh, go ahead and experiment a little bit with it. Um, again, one of the th downsides is if you do customize it in this way and then you go and you reset your layout preferences, again, notice that plots is automatically pulled away. Um, so there are some downsides to this approach in terms of you know, true customization outside of this um, four panel uh, approach. Hopefully in future versions of the beta, uh, this would be a little bit more uh, robust to that kind of change. But again, um, it's early days and it's just really exciting being able to use Positron in this way, um, in a way that's arguably far more advanced than what's possible inside of our studio at the moment. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.